Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and today I'm coming to you with another product review. And today's product is going to be on EDC belts from Core Essentials. I was contacted by one of their representatives via my email address, texasgunvault at gmail.com, and they asked if I would be interested in reviewing any of their products. And I said absolutely, because finding a really good gun belt is something that I have not had a really a lot of success with. And I also told them my usual terms, which is anytime I do any type of review, I always disclose the terms to my fans, I should say fans, subscribers and viewers. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I have not received any payment for this review, nor have I received any type of coupon code or discount affiliate link where if you guys buy stuff, I get some type of kickback. That is not what I got. The only thing I got is the contents of this box, and that is it. I believe this box is going to have two belts in it. One will be more of a dress belt, one will be more of a, I guess, a tactical belt. Uh, I should get two buckles, and I guess some other information uh, as well. And I promised the representative that whenever I do a review, I'm not always glowingly positive just because I received something. I'm always going to give my honest opinions and the opinions of just an average gun guy because that's what I am. I'm not an FFL, not a tactical shooter, not a competitive shooter. I'm just a guy that likes firearms. I carry every day and this is going to be from that perspective. So with that said and now that you guys know the terms, let's check out these belts from Core Essentials. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this thing opened up. To be honest with you, I've already opened it and uh, looked at what's inside, but I put everything back so you guys can see what I did receive in the mail here. So, the packaging is really nice. The box, they have Core Essentials on the lid here. You get a nice little uh, pamphlet, I guess, that shows you how to install the buckles and talks about the sizing of the belt. I received two belts. First one here is going to be the, I guess, the more tactical one. And they were very nice. Initially, they had asked if I was interested in any of their belts, and I had mentioned that I was interested in two of them with two of the different buckles. And uh, they said normally they only send out one, but for me, they would send out two. So that's very, very, very kind of them. So I got this one here. I believe this was a tan uh, color on the tactical belt. And I asked for, which uh, buckle is this? I believe each one has a name. This is the M2. Uh, buckle. Uh, then they also gave me a tan dress belt, which I've already installed the buckle on and sized it just to see how it worked. I'm going to do the other one on the camera. Uh, so this one is a leather belt as well. And I don't remember the model on this particular uh, buckle, but you can check out their uh, website for that information. They, they offer a lot of different buckles, different colors, and different materials. It's really quite impressive. And as you can see, this is a track belt right here. So it does not have holes like a traditional belt, and it really allows you to size this belt perfectly for your body and how you're carrying. Size the belts. I got a hanger for the belts, which is really neat. That is really, really, really cool to have. Um, I got a little loop here. Not 100% sure yet what this is for. Uh, might be something EDC wise. I got some mounting hardware. Uh, I got a little swag here from Core, which is kind of neat. Little king of, I guess, <laughs> I guess it's a hearts, but uh, uh, really cool there. I'll put that on my safe or my uh, workbench out here. And I got two very, very nice bags for the belts. I've mentioned before in other product reviews, if a company takes the time to really package their products well, it shows that they have a lot of pride in what they make. And so, so far, without even putting these on, I am really impressed with the packaging. So as I said, I've already installed the buckle on this dress belt. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install and size the buckle for the tactical belt. So let's do that now. Okay, to go ahead and size this thing, I was following the instructions and the little informational uh, pamphlet that they give you. Uh, and it says here that when it comes to sizing, which by the way, for the sizing, uh, you can tell how long the belt is. There are these markings on the back, and this is of course gonna be in inches 
So I'm assuming that if you're a European buyer, this uh, might be a little bit of an extra step for you to have to do the conversion. Uh, but you have everything from 28 inches down here all the way up on this particular belt to 53 inches. And the sizing says to add six inches if you are doing inside the waistband carry to whatever your normal waist is. Now, I'll go ahead and tell you that my waist is a 38. Yeah, I could probably lose a few pounds. But also, I think when it comes to sizing these belts, you're gonna to wanna to go a little bit bigger anyway, uh, because you can always take material away in the future, but you can't add material. So having a little bit extra, I think, is the way to go. So what I've done here is I brought out a little piece of uh, uh, like uh, plywood. In the instruction manual, it says that you could just take some really sharp scissors, but I found that using a box cutter worked really nice and gave me a very clean cut on the other belt. So since my waist is 38, I'm going to cut this at 44. So uh, go ahead and do that now. I might even cut it at 45. Uh, I don't mind if it's a, if it's a little bit a longer. But maybe I'll do like 44 and a half, somewhere in there, but I'm definitely going to add that uh, six inches. I guess they said if you're not going to inside uh, the waistband carry, you can go four inches, which for me would be 42. But I like to have that little bit of extra length. Uh, so I'm going to do about 44 and a half personally. If it's uh, too long, I can always cut it a little bit more. So I'm just going to take the box cutter here on the wood and go right there at 44 and a half. So I can get this to be nice and straight. I think I got it. There we go. So a nice, nice clean cut there. Make sure it's nice and even, which I think it is. Yep, very nice and even. Uh, no problems there. All right, so the next thing we have to do is loosen the screws here in the buckle, which I've already done uh, with the supplied Allen wrench. Uh, these are gonna be part of the mechanism that attaches the belt to the buckle here. So with this little flap, which has some teeth on it, uh, raised up, you're able to take the end of the belt that you just cut and you slide it into that end of the buckle. Turn it over on this side. Of course, make sure it's in as far as you can get it and nice and flush inside of the buckle. You're gonna to wanna to tighten these things down pretty darn tight. So we're gonna do that now. I can tell you all of the, the mounting hardware and these buckles uh, are really high quality. I am very, very impressed. You don't want that buckle to move or the belt to come out. Especially during the next step here. All right, so once those are fully installed, you're gonna close this latch here with the teeth and you're really gonna have to push down for those teeth to go into the belt like this. And you're gonna feel like it's not gonna go, but eventually it will push itself into that belt just like that. I was kind of worried I was gonna bend that latch the first time I did this on the leather belt, but there you go. So now this thing should be sized to me at 44 and a half, as I said, well, I'm 38, but I like to have that extra room because I do occasionally inside the waistband carry. So there we go. So that's how to install the buckle. So now let's talk about how I normally carry and how these might be a true game changer for me. All right, so I know you're really excited about looking at my nice dad bod here, but I'm gonna show you guys how I normally carry a handgun and my usual EDC and the belt that I'm currently using. The current belt that I have is made by 511 Tactical and it is a gun belt. I used to be super duper cheap and just have just a regular old uh, leather belt that I bought at, I don't know, Walmart or something <laughs> years and years ago. And of course you guys know that when it comes to gun belts and EDC belts, uh, you gotta make sure you actually buy a proper one that is very, very firm. This, these, these leather ones will not do, no matter how thick uh, they are, uh, mainly because over time they can bend 
and they're not as sturdy and they will begin to sag as you wear them. So that's something I hope that these belts will not do. But this is my current EDC belt. It's made by 511 Tactical, as I said. Right now I'm carrying a Glock 26 in an outside the waistband holster here uh, on this side. And on my left side, I got a uh, EDC knife, which I believe is my Smith & Wesson uh, Extreme Ops is what I'm currently carrying here. And I got my new Olight Baton 2 that I just did a review on. That was given to me by uh, Diesel TV. So I've been carrying that in a Blue Alpha Gear mag pouch. So this has been my usual setup here. I've had this belt probably for about four or five months. I'm actually already starting to see it sag just a little bit, but it fits me nice. I mean, it uses the uh, traditional kind of buckle and uh, uh, I guess, you know, sizing holes uh, throughout. So actually using a track belt is going to be uh, a completely different way of carrying and it's going to let you have all those kind of micro adjustments between the usual settings on the belt. So with that in mind, I'm going to start off first with the kind of dress leather belt and see how this thing works. All right, so the way that these track belts usually work is as you insert them through the buckle, there's gonna be kind of a clicking mechanism, and you can actually hear that, and you can actually tighten it to your desired uh, length. And so right now, because I'm going to essentially move the same EDC that I had on the other belt to this one, I'm going to adjust it for that. So it's gonna be tighter than it would be if I was going to uh, inside the waistband. Uh, so here is the same Glock 26 we just had a moment ago. Right there. I can tell you that feels really, really good. So I got flashlight, knife, gun. It really seems to support uh, the firearm well. Very, uh, very secure. All right, I'm gonna try a couple of different styles of holsters and inside the waistband and see what I think. All right, so now I have a on the belt type of holster here outside the waistband, uh, but this is the type of holster that I've always had a very difficult time carrying because with most other belts, they've always sagged. Um, the 511 belt, it didn't sag uh, too much, but this is the one, as I said, it goes through the loops within the holster itself. So all the support is on the belt itself. And this feels feels really good for me. Uh, I really feel like I have a lot of support here. Um, I might have to adjust this holster a little bit more at the angle uh, it's at, but overall it feels good. And I really like the fact that when you have that track, I'm able to tighten it up uh, really, really tight here. Uh, and so as I said, everything feels really secure with all my items on this side and with the firearm, especially a heavier all metal firearm, on this side. So this has always been a style of carry I've had difficulty using, but this belt seems to support this really well. So, so far, I like it. So let's try inside the waistband. All right, so here is inside the waistband, and here is a SIG P225A1. And this, as I said, uh, inside the waistband, and now because I'm going to use the uh, tracks, I'm not going to push it in as far, so I have a little bit of extra room to fit the gun into my pants and conceal this a lot easier. So you have that different option. So that's another reason why I wanted to cut this belt a little bit longer for this reason is occasionally, especially during the summertime, I will carry inside the waistband. This also feels really, really secure. I don't feel any snag, it's not uncomfortable. I can get it as tight as I'd like. And you're also probably wondering, how do you release the belt once you have uh, the track in place? Well, there's a little latch on the bottom of the buckle. You push that and it releases that track. And that's pretty nice as well. Very, very ergonomic and very, easy to use. So I gotta say, I'm a huge fan of this track belt. Wow, that is really nice. So let's try the tactical belt. 
All right, so next up is the tactical belt. This is the kind of the weave or the nylon material. The first thing I know is putting this thing on, it is it is definitely more secure and stronger than the leather belt. I would expect that. I still feel pretty confident that that leather belt, uh, which is a gun belt, uh, would definitely do the work. This thing is definitely even stronger and would not sag at all, even with a lot of use. That's just my kind of initial impressions. This, is, this thing is a much, much stiffer belt. Uh, I can tell you right now, I'm wearing a paddle holster with that 1911 again here. Uh, this thing is supporting it well. To be honest with you, I don't even feel the firearm at all. It really, really supports it well. It's a thicker belt, so the loops on my knife and my light uh, were a little bit harder to get on, but man, they are super, super secure on this. I gotta say, out of the two belts, I honestly thought the dress belt would be my favorite, but the tactical belt, uh, I think, I'm gonna get a lot more a use out of it. It's an extremely attractive belt. I think this thing would go well with jeans and um, any type of other pants you may have, but the stiffness of it is fantastic. This thing really feels uh, secure. I would be very comfortable handling this, and of course, also being the track belt, I can adjust it for the inside the waistband as well. I'm gonna do that uh, once more and show you that, and then I'll kind of give you my final thoughts and impressions and anything else I've discovered about these. Okay, so here's my inside the waistband with the tactical belt. And just like the other fit, it feels great. It carries the gun magnificently. I'm extremely impressed. And I definitely understand now why they say you have to have an extremely stiff belt to truly carry a firearm comfortably. This feels way better even than my, my 511. I'm so happy with the way that this feels. Wow, 100% different. Uh, and all I gotta say is I am extremely, extremely impressed. I think I've kind of figured out a couple of different things when it comes to the designs and the feel of these belts and what I like. I'm gonna share those thoughts with you here in just a moment, but there you go. So there's the tactical belt. All right, so let's get these back on the table and I'll share with you what I think I've learned. All right, so what are my final thoughts on these things. Number one, I gotta say I'm blown away by the quality. Both of them are extremely rigid and stiff. They carry all of my items really well. They're the exact thickness that I would want them to be. Uh, the fitting is awesome. I like the idea that it's kind of a one size fit all that you buy one product and you fit it to you. Uh, so if you want a little bit of an extra length, you can. A little bit shorter, you can do that. Plus you got all of the micro adjustments with the track. Big fan of these uh, track belts. Uh, once again, I'll kind of show you the track that is in the belts there. Pretty uh, cool on how that works. And as I mentioned before, there is a little latch here on the side. That's how you would uh, release the belt. If you'd like, you just push up on that and it comes right off. Uh, I'll show you the two belt designs or buckle designs that I got here. This is the one I decided on the tactical belt. And this is the one that looks a little bit more uh, traditional on the dress style gun belt. Uh, they offer a whole bunch of different buckles for your particular style, which is really awesome. Plus they have a wide uh, uh, options when it comes to color and material. You can really customize these to your heart's desire. Uh, fit, finish, quality, five out of five stars. Uh, extremely impressed with them. There's one thing I noticed from just using these, trying these various different types of holsters out inside the waistband, outside the waistband. Uh, I definitely feel like the uh, leather belt, kind of the more dress belt, uh, is definitely better uh, for inside the waistband. Uh, it doesn't feel just as rigid, um, but for inside the waistband, I think the dress belt is a little bit more of the way to go. Uh, you get a nicer look. Uh, but of course with inside the waistband you do have the extra support of your pants holding up the firearm. When it comes to outside the waistband carry, uh, this tactical belt, to this aside here, this, this, this tactical belt with this kind of a nylon kind of a material, this kind of a weave material here, uh, this is extremely rigid. This carried all of my outside the waistband stuff 
uh, the best. This was pretty awesome. I honestly thought I would like the dress belt a little bit more, but the tactical belt really, really uh, impresses me the most. So both products, I'm gonna give it a perfect five out of five stars. Um, the people on my Instagram, when I said, hey, I got these in for review, I had a bunch of people tell me they own these or wanted to buy these or have tried these and love them. So, wow. I'm just gonna say once again, these things uh, are pretty darn awesome. I am humbled that a company would let me even just try them out. Um, I'll show you guys the back here. And there you go. Uh, I am extremely impressed. It's really awesome that you can fit this uh, to yourself. Um, do all the adjustments, change out the buckles if you wanted to try a different style as well. Uh, all you gotta do is just change out the hardware. That is pretty, pretty cool. It's customizable belts, they feel uh, extremely high, uh, high quality, um, and they're not that expensive. I checked them out on their website. I think for what you get here, they are extremely affordable. I am extremely impressed, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to, uh, to use these. I should also probably try out the hanger here. Let me reach around the camera here and get the, uh, the hanger here. So I'm going to assume these kind of use like the same track system here. So let me just kind of put them in here. Yep, it does. So with the hanger you get, there you go. So the hanger uh, works just like the uh, track. That is a cool little accessory as well for uh, storing them. So that is really cool. So core essentials. I'm gonna put a link to their website in the description below. Uh, go check them out. Wow, I know that uh, a lot of my uh, subscribers and viewers are big EDC people and like to carry guns. And I'm sure uh, even if you're a competition shooter, these belts will help you as well. So man, they look classy and they do their job really well. So Core Essentials, go check them out. So there you go. So let me know if you have any questions and do you guys have any experience with these belts? Uh, I'm blown away by them. Five out of five stars. Wow, very cool. So these are definitely going into my carry rotation. Let me tell you what, so there you go. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.